Fishing pole, my turn signal's on. Oh no. Alright, I don't need GPS. No GPS for you. Even on these cool fall days. Oh yeah. Oh. It is kind of chilly though. I will say, two layers of gloves. <laughs> yeah, it's it's cold. Alright. Looks like a cool spot. Oh. Yeah, that's it. All right, so today's video is going to be another video that I've done previously, but more of an update version, I would say. So a long time back when you could only hear me in your left ear, <laughs> I did basically a walk around of the modifications on this bike. And I think at this time and point, with all these modifications, uh, I think I need to do another one. And I'm probably going to miss things because there's so much stuff that I don't even remember. But I'm going to try to do my best. So bear with me. It's been a minute, there's been a lot of changes to this bike, and I think there's going to be more. Of course, there's always more. Why wouldn't there be more? But anyway, let's start at the top. First things first, you're going to notice the Barotech Compan Dash, and I think that's definitely worth it. Pain in the ass to install, but hey, it works. For my phone mount, I use the SP Connect Plus with the SP Connect uh, phone case. Also, you're going to need that vibration dampener because I tell you what, my old iPhone, I blew through the camera on that one. But it works really good. It's a phone case and it mounts immediately, and I think it's great. I've got some Amazon clutch and brake covers. Um, cool. I've got some ASV shorty levers, black with the orange on them. I think the clutch side works really, really well, as well as the brake side, but the brake side kind of runs into, I don't know if you can see that, runs into my turn signal there. Uh, there is a note that since I don't have the factory hand guards, I did have to order new hardware on the clutch side. The brake side fits just fine. Um, it comes with it actually in that kit. But the clutch side, when they give you that hardware, there's a little bolt that goes underneath and uh, it just keeps kind of rattling off. So I have to buy new ones and I just kind of gave up on it. So it doesn't work. But I digress. And then for the handlebars themselves, you've got Zeta Bark Busters with Zeta integrated turn signal hand guards that I wired to the factory uh, units there. And then you've got the infamous and the number one question that I get is the mirrors. They are Power Mad Trail Star folding enduro mirrors. That all you do is you just put a bolt in and a nut and they go right there. Like I said, they suck. I don't use them. They're worthless. Yeah, you can make that decision on your own. They're there because I n legally need them. Now, also on the seat, I wrapped this uh, with a new seat cover from eBay. Um, pretty cool. I think it looks great, especially with the colorways. But that's all that I can think of that really happened up here on the dash itself or handlebars besides the Ducati throttle spacers, which honestly for $36, number one investment, I would 100% do that. Whew! God, this is already a list. Here we go. All right, got the Supermo Fools front headlight. It's the Ghost Edition, so it's got the little LED on it. Yay, LED ring there. And then when you go to the brights, it's very bright, um, which is nice. But you always have to ride with brights on if you want headlights. There's a way that you can kind of manipulate that, but eh, whatever. Also, the biggest change you're going to notice with this is the Moto Pro Works graphics kit. Now, this was a kit that was actually tan where the white was. I had them change it, and then I had them add a few different things like the FMF there. And, uh, yeah, make it kind of cool. So... Moto Pro Works is a great kit. They can change a few different things for you without actually changing the price on it. And they give you a mock-up before they send it to you. So really, really cool. I thoroughly enjoy it. 
All right, let's stay on the clutch side of the bike and let's move to the exhaust. Yay, factory header, FMF 4.1 for a 500 EXC. I made a video on this that I chopped and cut that up and yeah, I wouldn't suggest it, but you've got a P3 Carbon Max header guard on the factory header. It won't work with a Tecmo, but I really like it because I always used to burn my pants on the one from the factory. And uh, yeah, this works a lot better and really looks cool. You've got Tecmo engine guard cover on this side. You've got a hammerhead shift lever, and then you've got another Vanshee chain guard here. I replaced that when I did the Compan dash, and uh, I think it really looks cool. I think it works well. It's all fun and fine and dandy. You've got some eBay pegs here that don't work. I mean, they work, they fit, but they don't fold like normal pegs, so I would probably stay away from those. Then, as we move a little bit farther back, you've got Tecmo's carbon fiber swing arm guards, and then some KTM power ports, <laughs> KTM power parts rear spindles for the uh, rear stand. Um, yeah, other than that, you've got a Tecmo carbon fiber skid plate, which I think wor looks and works really well. God, this thing is dirty. I need to clean it. And, uh, yeah, that's the clutch side. When we move to the back, obviously there's my license plate. Look me up. Check me out. Knock on my door. You've got the Super Mo Fools Real Tail Tidy Kit. Now, I haven't seen these things come back into existence in a very long time. Um, I don't know if they're even going to make them ever again, but this thing is awesome. If you can find one of these second hand or they make them again, buy it, buy it, buy it. It's really cool. Um, it works really well. It's two bolts and some plugs and have at it. There you go. Now as we move on to the throttle side of the motor, we look at the same Tecmo engine cover. Um, you've got the Vanshi, Venishi, whatever the V thing, rear brake with the number two foot peg on it, anodized in orange. Um, it's really, really cool. I do like this, but for the track, I felt like I was dragging my rear brake because it is so huge. So I may buy a smaller version or try to figure out a version that's, yeah, not as big for track days. I've also got the same, again, eBay pegs that suck, the same Tecmo carbon swing arm guard, and spindle back here. Now, I've also got a little bit of a rear brake reservoir cap that came from Amazon, and honestly, that works just fine. Um, and that's really everything aesthetic on this side. Yeah, looking at it, cool. I also plastic dip the wheels, and that's one thing that's going to change because they are dirty and gross and I don't even want to show you them up close because they're horrendous. So then when it comes to engine, oh, this is going to be a good one. I do enjoy this. So I guess engine performance mods, obviously you've got the FMF 4.1 on there. Underneath the seat you can see that giant Rottweiler intake, which I did the Rottweiler intake and the SAS delete kit at the same time. Um, I would suggest if you could do in there that way because you're already ripping the bike apart to kind of get the things so that works Rottweiler intake I've got a PC5 Power Commander 5 unit with some Rottweiler tunes as well as a Rottweiler bag in the front yes they are $60 or maybe $50 or $59.99 but they are 100% worth it buy the bag when you buy the intake it is worth it you definitely don't need to fill your pockets they are awesome but SAS Delete Kit on this side, you get to put this fancy little plate there, but you get rid of so much crap on this side of the motor. I definitely suggest it. I just kind of zip tied those other two connectors down underneath there that you don't need anymore. Um, awesome. I've got a fuel dongle. I don't know if you can see it, but I just capped off that factory header there. Um, so there's no O2 sensor. sensor. It's just a kind of plug there and then another plug for the fuel dongle and the O2 port um, and that's really it on engine wise I think that covers a majority of things and so far most of the mods are holding up pretty well everything seems to be running great and honestly I'm just having too much fun with this bike the plan for the winter is to get these wheels actually powder coated so take them off bring them to somebody to disassemble and actually powder coat them with half white half black Oreo style uh, new wave rotor for the front a solid rear wave rotor and then probably a new sprocket 
or both sprockets and a chain. So, in a nutshell, in this beautifully cold October day, there's still some sun out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to ride, and if you guys have any questions on some of the modifications, if you have any questions on maybe the best or the worst or the modifications you should do for your KTM 690, leave it in the comments below. Find me on Instagram, TikTok, I don't know, all the other social platforms, and uh, reach out to me that way. Um, but yeah, we're getting to the end of the season here, so we got to soak it up while we can. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and at least the parts update for everything on this bike. And uh, yeah, just remember, keep riding.